His name might be Nick, but he ain't no saint. Last year, Nick Bosa ripped through the heart of opposing protections, pushing pressures through the pocket, helping create chaos and calamity amongst quarterbacks. Deservedly crowned Defensive Player of the Year, Bosa disrupted offenses through incredible athleticism synced with elite technique, tearing through single, double, and sometimes even triple teams. Two forced fumbles, 18 and a half sacks, and 19 tackles for loss. Let's dive in. What elevates Bosa to the upper echelon of defensive ends is his elite hand fighting ability. Operating at lightning speed, Bosa's brain processes the game so fast, it's like he's reading the hand fighting game in slow motion, frequently dismissing attempts to block him out the play with precision moves. Rushing the left tackle here, Bosa pushes the tackle inside by taking his first two steps at a direct angle towards his man, then pushes off the inside foot to spring wide and test the edge. Charles Leno tries to throw a punch, but Bosa catches it and in one motion throws it away and powers off his outside foot, dipping and ripping under the failed punch, sending him on a free pass to the QB and Heineke straight into the dirt. Rolling it again, he comes straight angle to not give away the edge, boosting off the third step to find the next gear and then swatting away and finding top gear as he bends to crunch the QB. Over to rush the right tackle this time, but similar dominance, combining speed, strength, and hands. Crouched ultra low in his stance, Bosa times the snap perfectly, using all that elastic potential energy to drive through the tackle. He wins the leverage battle and uses those great hands to forklift Andrew Wiley up and off balance. Feeling like he's got him unstable, Bosa rips round the edge, flattening the angle, and getting to Mahomes before he even has a chance to react. Hands again here are the key to the pressure. Rushing from that wide angle forces the tackle to chase him, and Brandon Shell does a good job to counter the outside rush. But when he goes to throw that punch, 97's black belt in line foo shows up. Watch him catch the right wrist of his man and throw it away. And with him off balance, gets his inside arm on the left forearm and throws that away too, knifing back on the inside angle to lay a deadly shot on Tua. Please check on this man. Balls out and that's a scoop and score. That's the shit defensive players dream of. And here's a similar move against the Chargers. You've got to set wide for the bend and snap, but then Nick just hurries you and wins the hard fight, getting into Foster Sorrell's chest plate early and benching him away, catching the wrist on the last attempted stop inside and throwing it away to drag down Herbert. You can't escape. And again, more leverage use and hands to play keep away and dismiss. Wide rush coming from outside the tight end, but there's no fool in Bosa on the play action. He again wins that leverage battle, and with the tackle upright, grabs his right arm and throws it down, ripping round for his second sack of the day, this time with the strip. Elite stuff. With the first step and hand fighting this good, tackles are forced out to the edge quickly, but set too wide, and Bosa has a swim and spin move to beat you back inside. No Boom sells way too wide here on the kick, scared of that edge chip and dip, and Bosa gladly accepts the invitation inside with a lightning quick swim straight through to Stafford. And I love the creativity of his spin. Miami leaves Smith in to chip him, and with a good shot laid, Bosa doesn't just allow this to stall him, but uses the hit to start his spin move, pirouetting his way through an inside gap, hitting Tua with a thunderous shot. Somebody please check on that man. Please. His hands, speed, and bully ball power aren't just effective rushing the passer. They wreck shop in the run game too. This doesn't result in the Nick Bosa stat, but it's his hands and strength that force the dead run. Washington is running power to Nick's side, pulling the guard who is meant to wrap around his tackle and take the most dangerous man, normally a linebacker. Scheming up a tight end solo blocking Nick Bosa is a brave move and it ultimately gets the play blown to bits. He effortlessly dismisses his ass with just an extension of the arm, and this forces the pulling guard to reassess his block and instead engage Bosa to prevent this from being a three yard loss. As the linebacker is now unaccounted for, he comes up to meet the back in the hole and makes the easy wrap tackle for no gain. That's not a stat for Nick, but that's his play on tape. Mostly, teams try to run away from Bosa, and this is why. Playing the edge on this zone RPO, Nick not only wins the outside with a quick first step to force the run inside, but also throws it away with a great push-pull move, dismissing the block and leaping to Pacheco to keep the run to a minimum. And here, 
Washington is going to run a counter that brings a runner straight into Bosa's path. But there's no path to take as 97 forklifts 82 back into the running lane before tossing him aside when the bat gets close, capturing him for the tackle for loss. His speed and athleticism allow him to protect the edge, yet still recover back to make plays when the run heads inside. Washington are going to run a draw play here, and Bosa is rushing hard expecting the pass. Keeping his head up though, Bosa spots that this is in fact a run with Heineke handing off late, and in just one step, Bosa redirects his momentum inside and straight to the ball carrier, meeting Fred Warner to hold this to two. And here's more brilliant pursuit and awareness to shut down another draw play. The Rams run this out of a double backfield here, trying to use the threat of an off line Cooper Cup to distract, but Bosa is all over it, despite that hard initial pass rush. He keeps himself from pursuing past the back, weaving his way inside to find Darrell Henderson and stop the ball. And this is just brilliant reading and understanding of the run. As DeAndre Carter starts his motion, watch Bosa's head tilt just slightly to peek it, and he's all over the push-pass play the Chargers are going to attempt. He's vertical upfield with no chance of the tackle reaching him, stopping Carter while he's still going lateral, slinging him down for the tackle for loss. Can't teach that. That burst has led to a lot of problems on dropbacks too. Leave a clear alley to attack, and 97 is there in a flash, no Ezra Miller. Seattle here are trying to run a sprint left option, and this should be an easy completion on the near side boundary for Geno. However, Bosa is just way too fast for the Seahawks' backside protection, blurring past the rookie tackle and then past the back before he even has a chance to set up, forcing Geno to eat the sack and live for another down. And here against Miami, they'll send two chips his way, but Bosa is just too damn fast for both of them. 30 tries to chip on the line, but Bosa quickly dismisses him, then steps on the accelerator, beating the running back on the inside angle and leading to a straight takedown of Tua. They just abused him on this tape, man. And rounding out Bosa's skill set is his extraordinary motor. No matter where the play is heading, and no matter the number of blockers sent his way, Bosa will fight to the echo of the damn whistle. His conditioning is fantastic, and he's regularly dominating and showing his physical prowess in the fourth quarter, going just as hard as snap one. Here against the Bears, Bosa is again going to rush hard expecting the pass, and with a boggy and damp field, ends up on his ass and what looks to be behind the play on the draw pass. But Bosa doesn't give up, and thanks to great work from his teammates to hold the play up, his hustle pays off, getting himself up off the floor and chasing down the screen before it can escape. The crowning jewel of the league's best defense in 2022, Nick Bosa was rightfully named Defensive Player of the Year. A stacked unit behind him means there should be no sign of slowing down in 23, and it's really just about adapting and adding consistency with D'Amico Ryans taking that job in Houston. Beware NFL tackles, because 97 will be wrecking y'all for a long time to come. Thanks for watching. If you're wondering where all of our college breakdowns went, they had to be moved to Patreon due to some very annoying video coordinators. But all of our breakdowns, including some brand new ones, are all there to view. Take care.